Is Deontay Wilder a shot fighter? Well, one person who certainly appears to believe so is Frank Warren. In an interview with TalkSport, he said, I did think at the end of the day, he looked like a shot fighter to me. He's obviously talking about the Joseph Parker fight. He said, that's how he looked. And he's come out with various reasons behind the scenes, which I've heard, but the proof has got to be in the pudding. If he comes back and has another fight, he certainly can't have another performance like that because it will be all over. I think he's got a big struggle to get himself back into it. If he decides he wants to do that, I think he's got a big struggle because he certainly wasn't at the races. You can't take away what Joseph Parker did. Joe boxed extremely well with them overhand rights they were throwing. They got their tactics spot on and you've got to take your hat off to them. Now, with regards to the AJ Wilder fight ever happening, Frank Warren said, to resurrect that, there's got to be some sort of outstanding performance from Wilder. Those are the words of Frank Warren. And I certainly have to agree that for that fight to be revived, Wilder needs to do something spectacular. I don't yet know if Deontay Wilder is a shot fighter. He could be, but of course, with that punching power that he has, it always gives him a chance against anyone. But of course, so many fighters will be a lot more confident against Deontay Wilder now, seeing how poorly he performed against Joseph Parker, the fact that he was lacking his old fire. And Wilder's always been a guy that gets outboxed. I mean, he's been outboxed in so many fights, but he would always find that knockout punch in the end. But I always said, going back many years, that there will come a day when Deontay Wilder can't find the knockout punch. You know, I think in the post-fight video I did following his rematch with Luis Ortiz, I said then, you can't rely on this get out of jail free card, his big right hand, every time you step in the ring. I wasn't impressed at all by his performance against Luis Ortiz in that rematch. A lot of Wilder fanboys were, I wasn't. To get completely schooled for whatever it was, six rounds, and then end the fight with one punch. Yeah, the power's impressive, but we've always known about his power. It's what preceded the knockout that was terribly alarming as far as I'm concerned. You're not going to be able to pull it out the bag every time. And indeed, we saw that against Joseph Parker. Deontay Wilder, if he's going to continue to be in big fights, he needs to be more active in the ring. He needs to let that right hand go. And obviously, you can't be too reckless because of the fact he is very technically limited. He doesn't want to be walking onto counters himself. But he has to be that old gunslinger. He has to have the old aggressive mentality. You've got to be in it to win it. And if you're just not throwing enough punches, then you're not in it. So it remains to be seen whether Wilder's a shot fighter. I'm not going to come to that conclusion just yet. I want to see his next fight and who it's against. And as far as who that should be, Deontay Wilder is 38 going on 39. He doesn't have a load of time left to uh, resurrect his career. So in terms of having easy comebacks, again, I don't really think he's got that luxury at this point. He's got to jump back in in a tough fight right away, I think. If he was 34, 33, I'd say, no, take your time. You know, have a couple of easy comeback fights, get your confidence right. But at his age, yeah, father time is not on his side. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is Deontay Wilder a shot fighter? Do you agree with Frank Warren? Or do you think he's got at least one last hurrah up his sleeve? Let me know.